If you're watching this, you already know the importance of step one. I am Dr. Gage of MD Relo, and I will quickly walk you through what it takes to score a 270. This video is brought to you by mdrelo.com, a free relocation service for medical students and physicians. In this video, I will address when to start studying, what resources to use, goals of the dedicated study period, a recommended study schedule, how to handle practice tests, and lastly, test day strategies. So, when should you start? First, focus on your courses and do well. Step one is important, but so are things like AOA and research. Involve the step one study materials with your courses. That way you're familiar with them when you start your dedicated study period. Save UWorld for the study period or the weeks leading up to it. Use USMLE RX to master question taking during your second year. The popular mnemonic used for the Step 1 study resources is UFAP, which I'd like to extend to UFAP Skeptic, which stands for UWorld, First Aid, Pathoma, Sketchy Micro and Farm, and Picmonic. Other resources commonly used are the Guyon audio lectures, which are perfect for car rides and workouts, and Doctors in Training which is great to use during the latter half of your second year to get through first aid the first time. I would not use this resource during the dedicated study period because it takes forever to get through. So what are your study goals? For UWorld, complete all available questions once during your study period. Then go back and do all flagged and incorrect questions again. Flag questions you were unsure about or guessed on. Only take notes on questions you will not see again. I would complete first aid once before the study period using Doctors in Training or USMLE RX and mark up the book with notes as you go along. Then, complete first aid twice during the study period. For Pathoma, you should have all the videos completed and the book marked up with notes prior to the study period. On your first dedicated pass, you may watch the videos again on a higher speed. On your second pass, I would just read through the book and better commit things to memory. Sketchy Micro and Farm are best utilized if you're able to print out the pictures on big sheets of white paper prior to the study period. You can send an order to UPS to accomplish this. Leave a white border for notes. Complete Sketchy Micro and Farm once before the study period. Try to get through them twice during the study period. I find you don't have to set time aside to review them by themselves. Rather, you can just review them as you come across stuff in your other study resources. Pygmonic is a low-key amazing resource. It is sketchy for everything that is not covered by sketchy. Start it as early as possible during med school. If you have trouble remembering things like glycogen storage disorders or congenital syndromes, punch them into Picmonic and see if they have a picture for it. Write PIC in your study resource if you have a Picmonic for it, so you can go back to it easily. The daily schedule. Remember, this is a rough schedule. It is okay to be flexible. Do not panic if you're not done with something in the window of time provided. The number of first aid pages or UWorld questions covered will depend on the length of your study period. I'd wake up at 6.30 or 7, eat some breakfast, and get going. I started with first aid because I wanted to have some reading under my belt before jumping into questions. Read around 30 pages of first aid from 7.30 to noon, then take lunch. In the afternoon, attack UWorld. I'd recommend doing time blocks of 40 to start. Time blocks uh, help with pacing and ensure you're as efficient as possible with your time. Try to get through 80 to 120 questions a day. If this is too much for you, you can shoot for less questions or start UWorld um, a little before the study period. Remember, breaks are key, and I would take several 10-minute breaks throughout the day to stay fresh. Take a long break at dinner, eat and exercise to clear your mind, then come back after two hours and work through Pathoma. Shoot for a chapter to a chapter and a half a night. This should leave you room to catch up on anything from the day as well. Cut yourself off for bed around 10 or 11. The weekly schedule. In summary, pick a different topic to cover each day, such as cardiology, and do the topic in first aid, UWorld, and pathoma. Every day you will add a new topic, so add the topic to the questions you're doing in UWorld. Build in a couple makeup days to catch up on things and remember never panic because everyone falls behind. Here is an example weekday schedule. I found that biochem 
was my weak subject area. So I dedicated 20 to 30 minutes every morning to reading biochem. This is a great way to chip away at any weak subject area of your choice. If you'd rather receive a free four or five week study schedule rather than generate your own, see the comment section below. Let's talk about the controversial topic of practice tests. Personally, I recommend against the MBME practice tests. They only tell you your incorrect questions and half the time you cannot find the answers online. Use a U-World practice test. They help with endurance and come with full explanations of all questions. You should simulate test day, getting up early, exercising, eating a good breakfast, and using earplugs and headphones. I would do two to three practice tests, taking the first test after your first pass through the material. So, the day before the test is here, what should you do? Review your notes from UWorld, save a few things for this day that were hard to commit to memory, like developmental milestones of childhood, get your alarms all set up for the morning, Call it quit studying in the early afternoon. Exercise and try to relax knowing the hard work is behind you. Map out where the test center is. Print off your scheduling permit document and have it on your phone as well. Keep this with your ID or passport and make sure the name matches perfectly. Take a melatonin if you need some help sleeping and practice good sleep hygiene the days leading up to the test. On test day, wake up at 6 a.m. Go for a jog to clear the head. Shower and put on some comfy clothes. I like sweats and a t-shirt. Bring a jacket to wear in case it's cold in the testing center. Eat a solid breakfast and pack a water. And snacks like a sandwich, trail mix, protein bars. Grab your ID and scheduling permit. And have a backup travel plan if yours fails. So, step one. Should have seven blocks, up to 40 questions each. You have 60 minutes of break time, which is plenty. Do not feel weird breaking after every block as this is ideal. However, know your body and mind, and if you're on a roll and feel good, doing two blocks in a row is fine. Lastly, do not study or look up answers on your breaks. It will only stress you out. Here's an example of how you can allocate your break time. Lastly, and most importantly, celebrate being done. Visit mdreload.com for additional free resources. It is never too early to start preparing for your next big move.